is love. This topic is a difficult for one for me right now. I've spent the last two months dealing with my mother's aging, her hospitalizations, and what plans should be made for her future. My mother's 82 years old and has been living on her own until just after 4th of July. I went to visit her uh, just after the holiday and ended up taking her to the hospital the day I arrived and have been dealing with repeated hospitalizations since then. She lives about a six hour drive from where I do, so most things have to be done long distance. This period has highlighted for me what love is really what love really is, as I have had to draw my own love of my mom almost daily to keep from getting too exasperated about what's happening to her, her changing confusion, and my long distance responsibilities. On the other side of the love equation, I am increasingly aware of the love given to me by my sweet husband and the many friends I've made here in sunny Arizona. My husband's not a big talker, as many men aren't but he's always there with a quick hug and the little extra help around the house that means so much. There are lots of ways each of us, uh, for each of us to express our love for our families and friends, and sometimes we forget that just being there and doing the big, I'm sorry, doing the little or big things that need to be done means so much, not just in times of crisis, but every day. One of the things that religions like Santeria teach us is that the doing, what we, what we religion scholars call praxis, is more important than the saying, that is doxis. It's important, especially in the area of human re interaction, to tell those around us that we love them. But just talk without action is meaningless. How we express that love in our day-to-day -day lives says more than all the telling in the world. Within Santeria, we express our love for the Orisha by our daily actions of devotion, and we experience their love for us in the daily gifts of good fortune and blessings that come our way. There is very little theology in Santeria and its sister religions, nothing that you have to believe. Instead, this is a religion of ritual, of participating in the big and little practices that make up our religious lives. I was struck early on in my learning about this religion by how often the word work is used to describe ritual activity. We work for the Orisha and they work in turn for us. As I grew and, and eventually became fully initiated into the religion, I learned just how much work was involved in being a Santeria practitioner. Our rituals are hard work. They invo involve hours, often days, of intense physical activities. It's not possible to stand around and tell everybody how much you love the Orisha. You'd be laughed out the door. Instead, you have to get in there and and help move you have to get in there and help move the ritual forward by by your willing hands. I think that this kind of religious orientation is good preparation for the world of real life, where all of us will, at one time or another, have to show our love for ourselves and others not by words, but by work. Sometimes hard physical work, but sometimes the emotional work of hanging in there when the going gets rough and the rewards seem few or far away. I can tell my mom I love her, but, it's, but, it's, but it is by trying to make her life work as well as possible given her current, her current circumstances, by calling her when there's nothing new to say, and by badgering her medical team for updates on her condition that I really tell her that I love her and will continue to love her no matter what. Thank you. Go to betweenaduck.com and into our forum to see more of Mary Ann's and many others' responses to this month's question, What is Love? The woman Until was next time. I had, though rather hard to keep. For when my eyes were watching hers, they closed. 